Hello, my name is Alberto Pascal, and in this video, I will be exploring my approach to the solution of the tic-tac-toes problem from the CS50 Artificial Intelligence Python course. So in this video, I'll cover a small explanation on my approaches to the following functions, which are player, actions, results, winner, terminal, utility, and minimax. Regarding my player function, it is quite simple. I just have to iterate through each row of the board. Once I'm in the rows, I make a dictionary with the count of each of the player's tokens. And then I add that count to my outer variables so I can finally compare the counts. And then I say if my count of X's equals my count of O's, then it must be X's turn because I either have an empty board or both players have played the uh, same amount of times. On the other hand, if my count of X's is greater than my count of O's, then it's O's turn. Then the action, actions function. In order to develop the action function, I iterate through each row and column in search of empty spaces. I keep track of those empty spaces in a list of tuples. And if I have at least one action in this list, I return the list. Otherwise, I return none because there are no available actions. My results function, I first create a deep copy of my board with the copy library to prevent my original board from being modified. I call the player's function to determine the player's turn and then check if the given action on my board is empty. If that position of my board is empty, I can place the player's token in that space. If not, I raise an error saying that it is not a valid action. The winner's function, I call the utility function on the given board, and depending on the result, I determine if it's X, O, or if it was a tie. So if the result of the utility is one, I say that X won. If the result of the utility function is minus one, O won, and otherwise I return none because it was a tie. On my terminal function, I have two flags. If the board is empty and if the game has ended, First, I check for any empty spaces on my board, and then I check if I have the same token either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally on my board. So I can finally compare if I have any empty spaces and my game is not ended yet, I return false because I can still play. And otherwise, it would mean that I either have a winner or I don't have any other spaces to play, so I return true. My utility function, has a game winner variable. It checks the board horizontally, vertically, and diagonally compared to the tokens it has. If the tokens are the same, I store this token. And after that, I analyze. So if my token was X, I return one. If my token is O, I return minus one. And otherwise, I return zero. And finally, minimax. If the II is starting with X, I return a random first action to speed up the computation because it doesn't matter where I play at first. And otherwise, I check which player's turn is it. If it's X, I go through every possible action on the board calling the min value function because I will simulate a play each time and it would mean it's now O's turn. On the other hand, if it's O's turn, I go through the same actions, the possible actions on the board and call the max value function because I would be simulating that it is now X's turn. And finally, I return the best possible action. So let's see an example of the game. Here it is, I'll start playing as X first. As you can see, I can play wherever I want, but the computer will think and try to block all of my winning attempts no matter where I play. And this will end in a tie over here. I can play again and then play something dumb as if I made a mistake. So let's say I go here and then I mistakenly clicked here and there goes the, the AI one playing as O. On the other hand, I can play as O. The computer will play a random first position to speed up things. And no matter where I play, the computer can still either win or tie. It will always win if I do not block the center, block, the center space. But if I do put something in the center, I can get to tie. Thank you. See you all in my next video.